President Trump signed an executive order blocking global abortion funds. The House of Representatives voted to ban health insurance companies from covering abortions if they participate in health care exchanges. And happening right now, some pro-life Western New Yorkers are getting ready to leave for Washington, D.C. That's right. They're headed to the annual March for Life, where Americans demonstrate their support of all human life. And 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugin is in Alden this morning as they're getting ready to leave. Twilan, tell us what's going on there. Good morning, Ed and Katie. Now, as you can see here, the bus is just pulling up to take 27 Western New Yorkers here from John the Baptist. They're going to join about 300 others headed to the March for Washington. We have Pamela with us this morning, who is a youth minister. Tell us a little bit about where you guys are headed today. Well, we're headed to Washington, D.C. for the March for Life. And how many people do you have going? We have 26 from our group here, actually 27 now and they from our parish. In all ages, tell me about that. Yes, yes. Well, we have <laughs> we have some elderly folks like myself and to our young uh, students that are sixth graders. Mostly we have several sixth graders with us this year. And so you've been to this yourself for 30 years. Right. You say, um, what's the environment like when you get there for the march? For it's life? joyful. It's awesome. It's just wonderful to see have everyone together on the same page. And so, so many people headed out there to speak their minds and join together. Why is that so important for you to do? Well, it's important for us to stand up for the voiceless. For those that don't have a voice, we stand up for the unborn. And we really want um, America to know that many, many, most of us care about that issue. Very, it's very important. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And we're going to send them off. It's the 44th time the March for Life is happening in D.C. And more than 300 Western New Yorkers are headed there today. A um, hundred others are taking planes and their own personal cars, but a lot of representation there. Uh, a lot of people who didn't attend the Women's March last week are going to attend this one, all for important issues to speak up for what they believe in. We're going to continue to cover this for you and send these folks off this morning. I'm Levin Alden, Tweelon Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News.